Okay, this is French onion soup. Homemade. Homemade by Chef Mike. And that looks delicious. Hooks up with the other truck. Where? Oh, yeah, Just right across the road. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, I missed him. Yeah. Shoot. All right. Maybe we'll see him up here. Everybody hears the cool sound. Daddy's making soup. He's not making a treat for you guys. I'm oh, Goody, I'm glad to see you're up and about. You weren't feeling too good there, were you? And there's Lucy. Hi, Lucy. They were all looking for tuna, but they didn't get it. <laughs> so now they're sulking. It's a gorgeous day outside, but it's cold. It's only like in the 20s. Burr. Okay, this is French onion soup. Homemade. Homemade by Chef Mike. And that looks delicious. Yummy. All right, we got cheese on top of those. Yummy. Toasted. Cool. All I'm right. supposed to put that in there. Okay. I'm I'm supposed to put this in here. This. Right. this you're supposed to melt cheese and let it bake. Yeah. So you don't have this. So you just don't have nope. soup bowls. Okay. Like yeah, we don't have soup bowls. We're using what we have. Yep. <laughs> It's just the coriander that we have for the steaks. Well, hey! We'll make it. That looks pretty good. good. Okay, so I can actually take, take these guys and put them on Tissue broth. Yeah. <laughs> then you, the bread will get soft and you take the bread with the soup. Okay, cool. Alright, that looks delicious. Be careful, it is hot. Yeah, I can see it's steaming. <laughs> Meanwhile, Lucy's sitting on top of the printer. I guess it's warm. <laughs> Little monster. Yummy. This is the bird blind. Isn't that beautiful? So we decided to check it out. Tons of little birds. They all get fed in the morning by the park rangers. And they're like everywhere. All kinds of little birds. We have some morning doves on the ground. There's more birds than I can figure out what they are, but they're everywhere. So cool. And they have a whole thing about the birds, the permanent residents, and the ones that are passing through in the summer and the fall. Very neat. And now we're looking for the headquarters trail. Not a gorgeous day. After we had our French onion soup, I gotta do a little trail called the headquarters trail. Supposed to be off the Montezuma Coil Trail. I guess we will see. Now, there is a rail down there, though. A railing down there. Huh. Does it look like it just goes uphill? Or does it look like it wanders around? Oh, it, it wanders way. around there, maybe. Maybe it goes there and then hooks up with the other trail. Where? Just right across the road. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, I missed him. Yeah. Shoot. All right. Maybe we'll see him up here. Hey, did he run in this direction? Yeah. All right, cool. Yeah, there's definitely a trail there. Yeah. I guess we're tired of hiking uphill. <laughs> Yeah, there is. See? There's stairs down there. Okay, so when we come back, we can actually go straight and take the stairs down. No. Yeah. Yeah, we don't want to go that way, see? We did that already. Straight uphill. <laughs> we want to go this way. I didn't really see far away this time. It's so clear out. Look at it, it's amazing. It's absolutely gorgeous. 
course we gotta deal with the rocks. <laughs> and we still have some greenery here and there. A lot of things are dead because it's December. But there's still things that are still green. About the only shade that's on this trail so far is this tree. And that is it. I guess in the summer, these would all have leaves on it. But in the winter, no leaves. We're getting close to the headquarters or the park office. This is at the entrance to the park. Do you see the valley over there? How clear it is today? There's the headquarters. Yeah. Yeah, What's this stuff say? Headquarters trail? Headquarters Trail. Headquarters Trail is only about a mile long and it runs along the road, so it's pretty flat. All well, pluses in my book. Where's day? Now, facing the sun. There's the headquarters sign where they list all the different activities they have available each week. You can see how the, that road is cut into the side of the mountain. Yeah, it zigs back, back and forth, all the way up to the tippy top. Oh, look at this cactus. He's cool. Isn't that gorgeous? There's like four gorgeous cactuses back there. Oh, really? I saw them in her her nature center yesterday. Oh really? I don't know what they were called either. Oh, but they're see. they're really pretty. We climbed all the way up there. <laughs> Look at the wild one. Yeah. And we could go straight here. Instead of going up the hill at all. <laughs> Went back down the road. I never noticed these stairs right in front of the sign. I guess when you're coming in, you wouldn't see them. And even when you're coming out, you don't see them. What's that? The sign. The stairs next to the sign. I never saw them. There's no sign for this tree. No, there isn't. <laughs> so that was a nice easy hike, thank God. <laughs> it was only a mile each way, so that was two miles, but it was all flat. So worth it. The kitties are happy we're back. Everybody's out. Enzo's exhausted. Lucy's grooming herself in Mike's chair. We decide to take the kitties outside, but everybody ran away except for Lucy. You getting hot, Lucy? You're looking for the birdie, aren't you? Yes, you are. pink harness on. Yeah. <laughs> Cute little girl. No, we just saw birdies in the trees right here. And there's still more berries. I think they'll come back. Yeah, it's so nice and peaceful. Where do you think you're going? She's brave. She's not like a brother. <laughs> Relax, we're gonna put you inside. And that's the end of our next to last day here at the Davis Mountains. It's our last day in the Davis Mountains and the kittens are having a grand old time. They're full of themselves. Lucy and Desi have the zoomies. They are nuts this morning. It's so much fun to watch them. They're crazy kitties. <laughs> oh, she's all she's gonna, she's gonna jump her brother. Oh. She's getting distracted by the birdies. <laughs> oh, 
There he is. And there he goes, and there goes the tablecloth. It's a mess. <laughs> she knows he's under there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and there they go. Silly, silly kittens. They may be full grown now, but they still have kitten brains. <laughs> and now she's pooped. <laughs> Stop me and onions. Okay. Chef Mike is making chili back. And we brought diced tomatoes and green chilies and strained tomatoes uh, garlic paste now oh, that sounds pretty cool make it easier the tomato paste okay and elbow macaronis okay let's go make our chili just chili, chili mac okay just chili mac okay so it smells good that we don't have smell of it. it smells yummy. I walk in here. I see Lucy on the bottom of the bed. And look at this. You have all three of them up there. Are you guys comfy? Are you using Rudy as your pillow, Desi? patty has been by the window all day. She's, that's the warmest spot. Look at you guys. Can you get any more relaxed? Lucy, Lucy, why are you by yourself? Yeah, <laughs> here he comes. Here he comes. You give your sister a kiss? Yeah. Oh, goodness. You give her big kisses? Yeah. Oh, let's stay here. Got the, still have the heater going on. Starting to pack up all our stuff. So you know it gets really cold here in the morning. Be below freezing. So Mike's emptying tanks now. He's gonna fill up the fresh water tank. I'm going to clean up all the chairs that are outside and put all that stuff away. So tomorrow morning, when it's freezing out, we don't have much to do outside. That's the plan. Oh yeah, we have to take down the magma shade. Can't fit that. Lucy's being crazy. She's rubbing around on the floor. Enzo's just watching everybody. Mike's still making the chili mac. It smells great. So now all the animals are wondering what's going on. Is there something for me? And Lucy, of course, has to play with the freaking tree. Look at the tree move. And now we have a gorgeous sunset. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? Yep, a glorious end to our last day here in the Davis Mountain State Park. How cool is that? Of course, I forgot to do any video of the Chili Mac, but it was delicious. Okay, jacks are coming up. We have all the slides in already. And do a little kitten check. Because we know where Enzo is. Put a little light on the subject. You got Desi and Lucy in there. Right, babies? Yeah. I think. I just in her cubby hole. You gonna move, honey? Yeah, you gonna come on the bed? There's where your brother Rude, Rudy already is. That might be a good spot. Yeah, we got everything in. All the Christmas decorations are secured. All lights off. I have the Christmas tree wrapped in the, the uh, tablecloth. Those can stay up. He can stay there because he's not, he's not really, he doesn't really go anywhere. I tucked our brand new printer in between the rug, pillow, and then I'll probably have to put some sort of sticky things like this down to secure it from now on in. I'm actually gonna take the truck. Mike's gonna drive the RV. 
um, because we got about a hundred miles to the gas stop where we want to get gas and we also want to get propane <sighs> and the closest place is, is on route 10 because the little dinky places around here we'll never get into so Mike's on hooking the electric which he just finished doing and I'm gonna move the car back we have to get the RV down off the blocks that are in the front and we have to stow them in the truck so I have all my stuff here ready to go oh boy travel day and that's a little preview of our next episode in our next episode is New Year's Eve and a travel day so come join us on our adventure give us a thumbs up and subscribe to see what we are up to next ring the notification bell to tune in to our next episode we usually put one out every Saturday morning please leave a comment too I hope we are giving you all some great ideas of places to explore. Have a good one.